and he said, we can't let you across the border. The Canadian and U.S. border has been closed for 16 months due to COVID restrictions. In August 2021, Canada announced the reopening of their borders and provided a checklist for both vaccinated and unvaccinated Americans. When we started off this expedition, we had three main travel destination and goals. Canada, Alaska, and Mexico. But since the borders didn't open until late August, I think Alaska's out of the picture. But we're still going to make Canada happen, and that's what we're doing right now. Okay, let's back up and show you how we got here. Meanwhile, in Colorado, Lisa, as in myself, realized her passport was expired. September. So I was just wondering if I could get an expedited appointment. Sorry, but I'm not able to schedule an appointment at this time. A few videos ago, we showed you how we stored the van in long-term storage and flew back home to Michigan. So we did pretty well. We had two hiccups. We forgot the lens cap to the camera, and Ferris lost his vaccine card. We had a few weddings and an engagement surprise to attend while we were home. So I lost my COVID vaccine card. <laughs> so now I have to go to the health department to get my health records. So hopefully that's good enough for us to use. But who knows? We gotta get to Canada. I am on my way to Detroit to the Passport Agency. It's about an hour drive from my parents. My appointment's at nine, so of course I'm stuck in rush hour, but I left early, so we should be okay. But I'm nervous, I hope it goes through. Gotta go to Canada. And guess what I got? We got it, we got the goods. Wow, I cannot believe that worked. Like, went in there, 9 a.m., and now I have my passport and it's just about three o'clock. That's insane, like, going to Canada? We're going to Canada! We should do that. I hope Tina is ready for us. Tina, I'm all ready for you. Got my baby <laughs> going on. <laughs> Tina, we're back, baby! Tina! I unplugged the chassis battery, so obviously the key doesn't work, so now I gotta use the manual key. Feels like it's 1996 out here. What's a manual key? <laughs> Come on, Tina, open that. Tina. There we go. <gasps> So overall, the van looks really good. Tina did really well while we were away. The only thing is, I know it got super hot in Denver. I saw like high 90s, and everything that was on Velcro fell. So that's honestly the only issue we had. So a little bit of Velcro, we'll just restick. All right, we were gonna grocery shop, but it's just too late and we're on Eastern time zone, so we got Chick-fil-A, and I'm not mad. So hungry. So good. I just need it right now. <laughs> Time for bed. Chick fil A put you out. Sleepy time. Once we landed in Denver, we headed towards the Tetons where we met up with our friends Shayna, Ross, and their pup Vinny. Once we completed Tetons and Yellowstone, they decided to extend their trip and caravan across the border with us. One little twist they aren't vaccinated. They knew this was going to be an obstacle, but were willing to take the risk. So we are currently in Bozeman, Montana. We just exited Yellowstone National Park and we are trying to go to Canada. But there is just like a huge checklist of everything you need in order to get inside the country. So you have to have a negative COVID test within 72 hours of crossing the border. 
and we're here at CVS and they just don't have any tests available. Usually Walgreens or a CVS will have a free COVID test, so that's what we're aiming for, so hopefully we can find one. The only option we had was for $200 a piece, and it seemed like all the other places that were for free didn't have them in Bozeman, so we did find a place in Polson, which is near Glacier National Park, perfect location, gonna get everyone set up. All right, we found a COVID test. We're going to Polson and we have to do a PCR. So no rapid test. So we only have 72 hours to show the Canadian border a negative COVID test. So hopefully we can get the PCR test back within the 72 hours and cross the border. I have to redo crossing our fingers. So we drove four hours northwest from Bozeman to Polson, and we came here to the Walmart. So our appointments are today around noonish. So we're gonna hang out, go to the library, get our appointments, and hopefully travel further up north. Love sleeping in Walmart parking lots. <laughs> All right, now time to get some work done in the library. We're gonna stay here for a few more hours until our COVID test at noonish. Just finished work at the library. Now we're going to the testing site, which is Walgreens. We're gonna get tested. Then Shane and Ross are after us. They'll get tested. And then they said it was gonna be 48 to 72 hours. So we're just gonna kinda hang out, work, see what happens. Fingers crossed that we're all negative. So this is the one major thing that you need to have before you cross for the border. So, like I said, fingers crossed, let's go. Of course I'm late. And we got traffic again. Always seem to do this to ourselves. So of course the confirmation email says come five minutes early and we're already late. Ferris is going through red lights. <laughs> okay, also it's a drive-through. Our van can't fit through drive-throughs. Sometimes they're like big, they're like not that short of drive-throughs, you know. Red light. <laughs> That big? See, we made it. Hi, we both have um, testing appointments. Our mail only runs Monday through Friday, and it was already sent out today. So they won't even go out in the mail until Monday. Another Walgreens in Kalispell that sends out their tests throughout the weekend. Okay, Kalispell is showing um, that there's some availability, so let me see. If you're gonna try to call Kalispell, you'll probably be on hold for like 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, then I'll, I'll, I'll pull over then. <laughs> Another thing. This is way more difficult than I thought it would ever be. On the regular weekdays, Kalispell does every single day. They, they use FedEx on Saturday and Sunday instead of the post office. Okay. All right. You'd be able to take the appointments um, that we have here and we can get them done in Kalispell. Yeah, I can't take the appointments from Polson and get it done here. All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, about to square one, baby. Let's go. Let me start up another one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, that's weird. <laughs> we're just gonna be in the United States for a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is a couple days. All right, since we have a little extra time because we have to wait for our test tomorrow, we're gonna get a little workout and then we're gonna get a swim in the lake. Good workout. Now time for a shower. All right, Ferris, we're all clean for what? Another four days? Oh yeah, <laughs> you know how it goes. <laughs> now that we're all cleaned and showered up, we're gonna just chill here at the park. Ferris is gonna get some editing done. I'm gonna cook dinner, and then when it gets dark, we're gonna head to Kalispell, which is about an hour away, because that's where our COVID tests are tomorrow. I need that food. You gonna give me that food. Cozy, romantic Walmart. Van life never goes as planned. And sometimes those plans change. But that's okay. So we move on to another day. Gonna get our test tomorrow. Let's hope that this actually goes through this time. And then we're gonna have maybe like 72 hours. We gotta figure out what to do. But for now, I'm taking a little nap ski. 
Actually, I'm just going to sleep for the night. <laughs> oh, give me a chocolate covered banana. <laughs> Good night. How did you sleep, Ferris? Not great. We were in the Lowe's parking lot and I think someone was fixing like a dirt bike at like 2 a.m. And he just kept on like starting it up and then it would fire, like backfire and then it would like die out. And then he finally got it started. Good for him, you know? Well, we were at Walmart and then we got the knock because she says weird things go on at that Walmart. So we're gonna head to the library and get some work done. Then Ross has his appointment at 12.30 today, and then Shayna has her appointment at like 3.30 today in Whitefish, which is a little bit more north, but on the way. All right, we just made it to the Kalispell Library, and we're gonna get some work done until we have to get our COVID tests. While we were in the library, Shayna called us and said that they went to get their test. The Kalispell Walgreens had already sent out their test for the day. This puts us in a little bit of a pickle because we need our test results within a 72 hour period to cross the border. We're gonna get our tests rescheduled for Monday before they send them out. I think this is the final, final straw. Let's go to pick and your nose, man. I right, dumped this puppy. See that cap? Away, away from the sewer. Pop this puppy open. <laughs> so we just made it to our campsite outside of Glacier. I think we're gonna stay here for a few days while we wait out to get our test and then to get our test results. It's kinda on the river here. The river is like this turquoise blue and like deep blue, so really nice. Looking forward to getting a little bathing action in there. Probably gonna be so cool though. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> what are we having for dinner, Chef Ferris? Little chicken, little veggies on the black stone. <laughs> Ferris in his natural habitat, eating. So, this is like our third day waking up in a spot, making some coffee, eating breakfast. It's not too bad of a place to be, though. No. So we're just kind of sitting it out until we can get our tests. Crossing our fingers, nothing goes wrong. So. And then we'll have another three days probably of waiting after that. That was <laughs> the coldest one <laughs> yet. <laughs> so we are in line at the Walgreens. Our tests, which I think are the final tests, hopefully. Like we only need to get these tests, then wait another three days. But Rosh and Shane are in the van right there in front of us. They sent us a text with a face palm, so. <laughs> I don't know, man. Not a good sign, not a good sign. M and then Kissel. They're so backed up that they're five to seven days out, but it's not guaranteed. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we really don't have a choice. Got the goods. Let's see, this is for Lisa. In there. Oh. oh you do a good job. <laughs> What's our lock to? They've been in a back lock. And say sure and wait a couple burn a couple days and then not get the results with a 72 hour window. At this point, like we just yeah, wanna go. <laughs> Biding our time playing a little can jam. We're about to verse Shayna and Ross. Gotta get a game on. Let's get it. So yesterday,
Saturday, we took a COVID test at Walgreens, which is in Whitefish, right outside of Glacier National Park, thinking that we would be able to get our COVID test results back in just under 72 hours. The lady told us it was taking up to five to seven days, so we still took the test in hopes that we'd get our results, but in the meantime, we found another free test, which is in Kalispell, which is another 30 minutes south of Whitefish, which we've already driven through but they have their in-house testing, which means they don't have to ship it out and they can get the results back in a shorter amount of time. So they're predicting like 48 hours, so crossing our fingers. Hi. Hi, are you guys here for COVID testing? Yes, going in. <laughs> you guys vlogging your- <laughs> Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> we got our results in! We negative! Tomorrow, we head to Canada. Fingers crossed, we got everything we need. Man, we've been waiting for this for a long time. I'm going, get down, oh, get down, oh, oh. Oh, bro, bro, bro. go down further, further, further. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about so that. we actually got our test results back from not one, but both of the places we went to. Walgreens said they were gonna take a week. We got it back in 48 hours. Then the other place we got back in 24 hours. Pretty incredible, so we're gonna go tomorrow morning. Let's go. And he said, we can't let you across the border we're, because we're not vaccinated and can cross through for just pleasure reasons. It's another checklist and we followed that completely. And he said, unfortunately, it's not a perfect process, but we can't let you cross. Honestly, I'm kind of worried about them. Yeah, I don't know if they'll be able to get in. Vinny! No. Oh, Sorry if we woke you guys Vinny. up. Oh, Vinny! <laughs> Bye, buddy! No! Are you guys gonna head over? Yeah, yeah cause we looked at our other test that we got from Logan and it doesn't... And nowhere on the actual sheet does it say PCR. Oh! The other ones from Walgreens do say PCR right on the front. Yeah. So I'm like... I'm like, it just seems but, sketchy. Yeah, and those ones are at, you know, 1040. So I was like, we got to kind of go now. But who knows? We might be back in an hour. <laughs> I don't, That's I think true. You guys will be okay. It was fun while we were able to I know. hang out. I'm glad we... It was so glad we got to hang out. I know. He's such a sweet dog. <laughs> oh, good scratch. Right now we are headed into the Roosevelt border. So, you know, this is, this is our chance. Let's see how it goes. I'm feeling confident. We have all the things. We have all our documentation and we are vaccinated. I think that's the one thing that we learned from Shane and Ross and what they're telling us last night. Um, so, I mean, we're gonna give it a shot. Let's see it. There's another van in line. I'm nervous, I'm nervous. I hope everything goes okay, please, please, please. Passport. Your destination is on the left. No, wait, we're up next. Good morning. License plate number? Where are you headed? We are headed to Banff and Jasper. No. Do you have any alcohol or tobacco products with you? We do have some beers, yes. How many is some? Um, probably like, ten. I'd say 12, 10 or 12. You got your uh, COVID vaccines there? Yes. And you got your pre-arrival test? Yes. Please just sign your passport. Oh, okay. Other than that, have a good day, guys. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. See ya. <laughs> oh, oh my god. We are in here, baby. That guy can There was Kirk trying to chat him up, and he was not having it at all. He goes, That's a broad question. <laughs> god, but we're in. Let's go, let's go, in another country, baby, let's go, let's go. Did it again now, baby, let's go. So what do we do now? We made it, we made it. You have the chairs behind me. Well, I don't even know what cams are to... <laughs> Back to US. <laughs> this is the first time we've been in another country since COVID. That's two years. Feels good. Feels so good. 
First stop in Canada, gotta be Tim Hortons. This is the cream and sneaker. Not even an hour into Canada, the first stop had to be <laughs> Tim Hortons. If you're near Canada or you live near Canada, then you probably know what Tim Hortons is, but it's just a Canadian staple for coffee and any type of breakfast food. Being from Michigan, we're very close. We have a bunch of Tim Hortons in Michigan, but first stop, Timmy's. Having a little celebratory sausage, egg, and cheese. No, that's mine. This one's yours. You got the biscuit. I got the English muffin. Mm -hmm. Wait, I get a bite off yours, man. Mm. This is bad. I missed it. We made it, but we do miss our friends. And it's so cold. I miss Vinny.